I changed and I tried to hold on to the girl I used to be. Mm. And that's not even who I am anymore. Hey, you guys, welcome back to Revealing Heal. I'm really, really nervous, but also excited that you guys are here. Today, uh, I wanted to, or tonight rather, I wanted to talk about or discuss transparency. I looked up the definition for transparency. First definition is allowing a light to pass through so that objects behind it can be distinctly seen. There was another one in regards of technology and computing. And that one is functioning without the user being aware of its presence. To be transparent is either a choice or it will happen by force is what I get from those definitions. And it confirms to me that the more transparent you are, the more you feel liberated, right? We've all probably experienced that. No one is saying that you're not, you know, no one is saying that you should like share things that you're not comfortable with sharing. But there is something to the fact that people are meant to see through each other. And I hate the fact that we've kind of perverted this, this transparent defi definition when it comes to um, human contact. Like, oh, for me to see through you means I read you or uh, I'm being shady. But for me, I've always been a utopian thinker. So for me, it's like, wait, I believe we're supposed to see through each other to be in good counsel, to be in help with each other because now I can identify with you, right? Um, like coming up, I've, I've always wondered like why my personality or like my self-awareness, my self-transparency would be a bit much for people. Like they just wouldn't know how to receive it. I always felt awkward around certain people apart from, you know, and then slowly being pulled away from and not feeling present with them until this year where I was pulled away from family and friends and things that no longer served me. And with that came this knowledge of transparency because again, whether you're willing, willingly wanting to do it, you will still be seen through by force because our environments have a lot to do with what we put out in the world. And when I realized that, you know, those people that are close to me, right, in the past season, um, that they didn't want to discuss it, I couldn't, I, could, I, I found the fact that I couldn't be angry with them anymore. There was nothing for me to judge because transparency is a really courageous thing to do and it takes a lot of self-knowing and why it is even important to be transparent. Um, from that, I've been pulled back and learned to love from afar and like reprogram myself, right? With new and healthy ways to be transparent and I'm loving the willingness of my heart to do that. And I hope that this really helps someone be true to who you are, love who you are, love your process, and don't let nobody dim your light. You know, that light, regardless if the person who's trying to dim it likes it or not, it's really for them. It's in service to other people because it sharply, distinctively is what it says. Distinctively, and distinct means sharp. It means marked, you know, the scene. Your honesty, your candidness marks this someone else and regardless if they like it or not, it will help them blossom as well. And while I'm, you know, talking so much, I'm just gonna move on to this dance video that I did where I'm just, being as transparent as I possibly can with you guys. So thank you again for sitting with me on Reveal and Heal. Um, there is more to come. I like this. And if you like this, like and share and comment below. And let's talk about it. Peace.
go to the throne He's right beside me Hold my hand in a valley Lost but now you found me I don't know where I will be Don't know who I will be yeah, yeah. Came through when I need him He's a rider yeah. All my haters you know he be fighting yeah. I never had no one to stick beside me yeah. And when it's cold 